Hey, what's up? Uh, this is E Fluker on YouTube. And I am down here in my basement at my desk. I consider this my office, basically. Um, having fun and graffitiing my railroad cars, okay? Basically, these decals that I use um, to graffiti the cars and give them that realistic look that I'm looking for on my layout. And so I have my water here. I'm just gonna position it around so you can see. All right. Yeah, I got my water right here, okay? And I have my decals. And I did a container car right here, okay? And to really make it look urban to really give it the street look that you want to give it you know you can put as much as you want or maybe a little bit maybe a lot depending on what you want so <clears throat> I take have these decals here and I take the decals out and I got quite a few of them these things are not easy to get off but you work with them until you get them free Give them a little pull, a little tug, just like that. So you get them loose. Okay. So again, this water is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature of the water that you need when you're using these decals. When these decals, and you put them on your railroad cars. And you want to position them and put them in the areas that you want to try and give it that realistic look. So I'm going to take my decal. And put it in this water. Let it saturate itself, soak good. Okay. Take it. Do the other end. Get it good and wet. That's what you want. This water has to be warm enough so that the decal can slide and you can move it off as you need it. So I take the card that I want to tag. And in this case, I want to do the next one, the one beneath it, the lower container. So I take it and I slide it off, just like this. And I catch the end of it and I lay it down on the car like that. And make sure you press firmly and evenly so that that way it's not going to move around the slide. You want to try and get it the best way you can. And I got it pretty pretty warm here in my basement, so it should dry it. Okay. And then that's what it looks like. That's your finished product. Okay. This is how you get that realistic look. And... Put it on here. You got one for the lower side, you got one for the top. You can even put them on the railroad car itself. And I like to do that. I like to put decals on the body of it as well. Even though this is a thinner body. Um, I can always go to another pack. And I have more. Okay, these things. And so I kind of take the ones and I want to put them down in the bottom on the base of the railroad car. So cut the top. Pull out the one that you want to put on the car. We'll get that in a minute. Pop it out. Okay. I want to put it down here on the body of the railroad car, down here on the lower end. So I take it, wet it, flip it over, wet it. And it's a good idea sometimes too to 
bring the car like this. And then what you can do is you can shed that black, shed that back piece off and just transfer it right to the car. But be careful though. And sometimes if you don't get it, just go back in and hit it again, just so you can loosen it up. Sometimes it may not get wet enough. And you slide that off. Like this one didn't get wet enough. So I'm gonna go back in it again. Hold it there for a little bit. Now water has to be at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit. You take it, now that came completely off. I'm gonna put it right on the body of the car. There. And sometimes if it runs a little high, that's okay. You can just fold it over. Now you have graffiti on the body of the car itself. Okay. That's what gives it that realistic look. You know, you've seen trains in real life where there's all types of uh, graffiti on them. And that's what we, um, we try and show in the layout. But they say art imitates life. That's what it is. So I want to do another one. Sometimes I kind of get choicey. Like I don't want to cover up certain details like this is a TTX. I might want to show that, but then I'll go ahead and hit this corner because there's really nothing there. So I'll go ahead and peel out another one. Okay. So I get it. <clears throat> and pop off this nice blue one. You know, this thing. Beautiful color. My favorite color, actually. Put it inside of the water. Flip it up. Get it again. You use tweezers, too. Sometimes tweezers. I got some tweezers around here somewhere. But um, those are good to have, too. Okay. Flip the car up. Position it where you want it. Slide this off. Remember, you want to get it wet enough and you want to get it to where I'll even take my finger and just dab it a little bit like this just to make sure it stays. Make sure you get what you want. Put a little air on it. And now that's tag. And it'll dry, you know, as you go along. And uh, I got a tanker. This thing is nice and crispy white, so I want to put a little something on it too. So I'm put this over here to the side. This color white is going to show up really good with all these colors, the ones that you choose. On this car, I'm going to put. Mm, let's put this red and yellow one on here. You can get these decals at your local hobby shop. You know, local hobby shop. And you dip it in there. Do the same process all over again and tag your car. Slide that piece off there like this. Fingers free. And I want to uh, I'm gonna go up top. I'm gonna go up top.
you know, they can go high. Sometimes people climb and get ladders and climb on top of things to tag them. And then I'm gonna get this one right here at the bottom. Dip it down. Flip it. Okay. This time I want to go a little lower. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go right here on the bottom. It's a little tight. Because you got the rail. that rail there so you gotta improvise a little something just to get it to stick okay and then sometimes take your screwdriver and press it or something flat. And just roll it on there. Mm -hmm. And there you go. There it is. And I pretty much do a lot of my cars to give it that realistic look. Well, this is E. Fluker on your YouTube station. And I'll get back at you. Peace.